Welcome to the Leads Machine, guys. This is the result of over 10 years in pickup or the game or seduction or whatever you want to call it. And it's literally the result of 10,000 plus contacts, okay, or what I refer to as leads, phone numbers in my phone. I literally couldn't even make this up. Literally just hit 10,000 contacts in my phone. I was at like 9994 a couple days ago. I was joking with my friends. I'm about to release this product. This is the end of 2018. I'm releasing this product on January 1st, 2019. And I literally just hit a thousand lay count a couple weeks ago, and I just hit 10,000 leads uh, in my phone literally today as I'm making this video. So, as you can see, the close rate is around 10% for the girls that give you their phone number. Okay, this product is really, 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 really important for a lot of reasons. Okay, a lot of the dating and seduction and pickup community focuses in just on bringing girls home from the club or like meeting a girl in the daytime and trying to bring her home. And they vastly neglect how to work a phone number lead properly. Okay, and there's lots of stuff that goes into that. In a moment, I'm going to show you a flow chart that shows the macro high level view of the three big pieces of this game. Okay, there's lead acquisition, there's lead management, and there's lead closing. Okay, my first product, Occam's Razor, dealt with all the lead acquisition, how to run your nighttime interactions, your daytime interactions, your online game interactions. Now, this next product, the lead machine. That deals with how to run all your leads okay, through the funnel. How to optimally, and with the highest probability, get each of those phone numbers to meet up with you on a date. What happens on a date? Afterwards, you move back to your place, and then you have the opportunity to close. Okay. So without further ado, let's jump right into this macro flow chart. All right, so here we have a nice little beautiful creation. I just made today kind of showing you the whole macro overview now for those of you that have seen my five hour video on my youtube that basically goes through a whole diatribe on working through the whole macro flow okay this is a more refined version and showing how my products tie in okay so this first section here this lead acquisition this is what powers the whole machine okay no matter how good your skill is at working these leads and even acquiring them once you go and do night game or day game or tinder game you have to be running some kind of volume to be putting fuel into the machine okay you can't just like there's been periods where i'm not swiping tinder i'm not going out to the nightclub I'm not going and doing day game and even though my game is extremely refined and my skill is really high i'm not getting closes coming out of that that's that's during like periods where i'm like really hitting the gym a lot and doing muay thai and doing a lot of business work and stuff like that but you have to be putting leads in, okay? Now, the quality of these leads, okay, and remember, a lead is a phone number. The quality of the leads that come out of these three sources, online game, night game, and day game, that's going to depend on, like, how much value and alpha and a whole bunch of other factors that you bring to the table when you are running each of these three sources. All that is discussed in extreme micro detail, in extreme full detail, in my product, Occam's Razor. That was my original product. And that is ultimate seduction system.com. Okay. That's how you get a whole bunch of high quality leads. Now I've said in a bunch of other videos, I focus pretty uh, exclusively on night game and running the Tinder bumble and some seeking arrangement game day game. I will mostly just approach girls that are attractive that I see when I'm out and about doing other stuff. I don't tend to go do like four or five hour sessions at the mall because you end up only getting about one or two quality leads per hour by doing those long exhausting sessions and it's fucking weird I think as well um, but I'm not going to go into all the stuff on how to work that this video is mainly about the leads machine but for learning how to acquire the leads you're going to want to check out my product my product Occam's Razor at ultimate seduction system.com all right so now you have a whole bunch of leads here now keep in mind I usually give as a guideline you should be getting anywhere between five and 15 numbers from a night game session on a Friday or Saturday. Okay. I also advocate in other videos, you should be swiping Tinder and Bumble on a daily basis, preferably for at least 30 minutes up to at least an hour if you can. Okay. And that can be spread throughout the day when you're fucking taking a shit, when you're on public transportation, when you're in a taxi, whatever it may be when you're walking. Um, the more you are visible and working Tinder and Bumble, uh, the more the CEO put out a statement saying that basically if you use the app more you'll get more results Okay, so this is the equivalent of going out and doing approaches by doing your swiping Okay, and then of course the, the odd day approach that you hit 
when you see an attractive girl, that's all going to factor into your amount of leads. So let's say in a given week, you do night game, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, let's say you get seven leads per night on average. Okay, you should be doing more, but let's say you get seven leads per night. That's 21 leads. Let's say with Tinder and Bumble, you get another seven. Okay, that brings you to 28. Let's say you get a couple day game leads. Now you're at 30 leads. Now, if we're going to talk numbers for a second, let's say this all happened in a week. If we're going to talk numbers, again, these are just hypothetical examples, but if we're going to talk numbers. If you get two closes in a week, there's 52 weeks in a year, you now have fucked 104 girls in that year. Okay. I just recently had a thousand chicks. I was doing a hundred a year for a while. And then as I refined the system and included uh, some key optimizations, where is it? I know it's on here somewhere. Framing dates straight to the house. That was a key tweak. And then from July 17 to July 18, I was able to do 245 new. The point is you're going to have these 30 leads that are sitting here and there's not many videos out there and, and almost no coaches talking about this, about how to optimally turn these into dates. This is what the leads machine product is focused on. It's taking all this hard work you did with your online game, swiping with your night game approaches and your day game approaches. And instead of letting these leads all fall through the cracks and just fucking shift off the chart and turn into nothing, which is what's happening to most of you. Um, I'm going to teach you in this product, how to optimize the chances and the probability that they will come down to this part so that you either have a date straight to the house or you'll have a public date, which can be a coffee date, drink date, dinner date, whatever it may be, whatever your activity of choice is for a date. And I will teach you how to run these dates as well, these public dates. So I put it here, this is a really, really, really critical point, probably the most critical point of the whole video here. The key to closing large quantities of high quality women is to work your leads properly. That's why I made a whole product about it. Okay, I, Occam's razor was meant to be a permanent and final solution, but as I introspected further and further on what is exactly my secret sauce, I realized there's much, much more I can say about the lead management part. And most of this is just texting. Okay, this is kind of like a text game product um, at, the, at the core. It's a collection of flowcharts. Each of these things is a different flowchart in the product. Okay, so I'm dealing with how do you send your what are the app message sequences and all the different control paths that can happen on Tinder, on Bumble, on OkCupid, Plenty of Fish, etc., and also on Seeking Arrangement, which is, which is a different beast. That's a sugar daddy dating site that is hot girl DTF leads. Then I go through um, all the stuff on working your night game leads. Okay, all the stuff for working your day game leads. How do you confirm your dates? How do you double stack time slots? Utilizing floater girls, which is girls that are set for like a whole day or an afternoon or an evening, but you haven't set a specific time yet, and you can rearrange based on how the day unfolds with other dates and other things going on. How do you cancel on the girl? What do you do when she cancels on you? How do you adjust the time slot? How do you frame dates straight to the house so you don't have to do the public date so you can increase your chance of closing and save time and money? Um, what do you do when she flakes on you? There's different types of flakes. I tell basically if she disappears, Completely, how do you deal with that? If she gives a legitimate excuse, if she gives a bullshit excuse, how do you deal with all these things? How do you, this is super important, managing your calendar to set dates, to remind yourself when girls are back in town, to remind yourself to follow up with different girls, to schedule and reschedule, all this stuff. And then the whole other big piece of all this, each of these has a whole bunch of nested uh, examples safety objections, logistics objections, location objections, comfort objections, sex and hookup objections, dealing with non-responses and other miscellaneous objections. Now, this is like so critical and, and almost never talked about anywhere. It's, it's like, it's like so fucking, I don't, I don't want to say frustrating because I, I was able to fill this whole gap that's not being filled, but coming from a guy that's fucked over a thousand girls, this is where it's coming from. This middle section here. Okay. I can do like one night out a week in night game and do like a little bit of Tinder swiping and get like 10 leads or whatever. And I can convert a couple of those, no problem. Okay. Whereas most of you are focused on like, I'm going to go out five, six nights a week and I'm going to try to pull every night and maybe I'll pull, you know, one, one night out of every two or three weeks or whatever. And then it's like some huge victory pulling, which is referred to as taking a girl home directly from the bar or the club. It's extremely overrated. Without going into the, the, the extreme explanation, 
you're dealing with obstacles, you're dealing with having to move them out of the venue, you're having to deal with cock blocks, you're having to deal with environmental disruptions with, with music and noise and there's alcohol involved and you have to deal with um, her maybe living far away from the venue or you living far away from the venue. So logistics are fucked and the, the friends are like diehard cock blocking a lot of the time. And she maybe has to be up early for work or she has to be to bed right after this or she has people to drive home or whatever. There's just so much shit you have to deal with. And yes, if you do get a pull that bypasses you, if you follow my mouse trail, this bypasses you all the way down to back to your place. So you skip this whole lead working part. But on a given night out, you can only pull once. Okay, sometimes you can go back out. There's plenty of nights where I pulled twice. You can go back out and pull a second time. But most of you, pulling is actually fairly difficult unless you're like very advanced. I, I will just put that out there. Unless you have a pretty advanced understanding or your upper level intermediate, pulling is still difficult. And there's no guarantee. I can't guarantee them to pull every night out. I can't, if I go out five or six nights, maybe I'll pull two of them. Maybe I'll pull three of them. There's so many factors that can get in the way. Whereas when you collect leads, okay, now I prefer on a, on a night game night out to just get 10 to 15 leads rather than go die hard at this pull, pull, pull with, as everyone's been inundated with in the community when they're being taught dating and seduction. I'd rather just collect a bunch of high quality leads and then work them down systematically. And I should note, a lead generally goes cold within a week. All right, so you need to work it efficiently and effectively. And I give you the exact text that I'm using the, like to this day, right? So this video is we made at the end of 2018. So, and I just did a thousand girls. You're getting the result of over a thousand girls experience over 10 years of working literally 10,000 leads. Okay, it's like a thousand leads a year. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. I've, I've spent like almost all my time on this over the past decade. And now you're getting like the end product of what I've evolved and optimized the system to be. Okay, so you, you can just literally plug and play my texts. So like the way this product will work is you take a phone number lead that you have, whether it be from online game, night game or day game, you take it, you plug it into these flow charts an objection comes up from the girl, you deal with it, you go back to the flowchart, you continue forward, you need to rearrange in the calendar, you need to, whatever you need to do, I tell you exactly the sequence to do it. So it's literally completely plug and play. Like the guy that has the worst skill at working leads in the world will now be leaking, working leads at my level. So it's literally whatever skill, like say here's me, like the expert at working the leads, whatever skill level you are, advanced, intermediate, newbie, whatever. And, and this is a lot, this is a lot stronger than what most advanced guys are doing. I, I, I'd venture to say what all advanced guys are doing by far. This is a lot stronger because I've even had advanced guys test this guys that have been with two or 300 girls and they're getting as much as four X meetup rates. So four times as many girls are meeting up and they're just plug and playing all this. So you don't, I'm doing all the work for you. All the guesswork is eliminated. There's nothing like there's nothing to figure out or, or, or really do anything. This whole piece is handled for you. Okay, so literally if you get phone numbers from night game and day game and Tinder and online game, I'm, I'm sure most of you watching this do or have at some point. This will handle the whole middle part so that you can just skip from this orange piece to having a date. Okay, so ideally your week should just be set up with a whole bunch of dates. Okay, on a given day. Okay, I've got this girl coming straight to the house for wine. I've got this girl for coffee later. Okay, maybe I'm seeing a rotation girl. That's this whole nice piece here. Let me just follow through the rest of the chart so you understand. So you, you have these dates straight to the house where you're splitting a bottle of wine or you're just hanging out at the house. It's very easy to close those. Or you're having a public date, coffee, dinner, drinks, whatever it may be. And then you are taking the girl back to your place from the public date if it's already set to your house, you're already back at your house. But I have a video in the Leads Machine product that it covers exactly how to close, exactly how I'm closing back at the house from start to finish, okay? That leads to sex, and then from there, depending on your goal, you can continue to fuck more hot women, you can build a rotation or a harem. I usually run six to 12 regulars, no matter which city I'm in, I like to have one or two main girls, which are the hottest ones I have the most chemistry with. And then there's six to 12, you know, kind of side chicks that I'm seeing like once a week on average. I go over all the details about how to run a rotation in my Occam's Razor product, which is ultimate seduction system.com. Um, 
I'm not going to get into all the details of rotation management in this video, but this is the end goal. You pump some leads into the machine. You follow the exact text, the exact sequences, the exact flow charts that I perfected over 10 years. Okay, so it's a complete done for you system. You follow my video how to close back of the house. And I even have a video included in this product about how to set the date straight to the house. So literally, if you have these two products, Occam's teaches you how to get these leads most efficiently, how to bring your best self and run these interactions the best so that you can acquire the most leads and that you can make them the most solid as possible. Then you have all the texts and the, the lead management completely done for you. You just copy the flowcharts. Then I have a whole set of masterclass modules in both products that go over how to run your public dates. Okay. In leads machine, I talk about how to set them straight to the house and then how to close back your house with a video on that. And then I have a video on outcomes on how to maintain your rotation. And that's literally the whole system. You don't need anything else. Like there's so many, there's hundreds and there, there, there might even be thousands. I, I bet there is thousands of pickup and seduction and game videos out there completely unnecessary. Like most of those guys, I, I've immersed myself in this for 10 years. I know for a fact that almost every coach out there is full of shit. Almost every coach out there has poor skill. They're just like trying to put on a whole facade, right? I've backed up all my claims with infield footage. I've been steadily reporting my results since 2012. I put 300 different girls on Instagram before it got shut down 300 in a row. I have nothing to hide. I fully back up all my stuff. Hopefully from my videos, it's very intuitive and, and straightforward that this shit actually is the true answer to all this. And I'm going to be really blowing this up in 2019 to get this in front of tons of people because this is the whole system here. This What you're seeing in this chart, and nobody talks about this, is the whole system, okay? And every piece is handled for you between these two products, okay? But the reason why I created this product here is most of your guys' leads are slipping through the cracks at this stage, okay? Like, ask yourself right now when as you're watching this, do you get phone numbers regularly? The answer is probably yes. If not, you should be going out and doing more night game or you should be using Tinder more. And if you're not getting matches on Tinder, you should be getting professional pictures. I talk about that in both products as well about how to optimize your profile pictures and your profile so that you get the most matches from the online game platforms. Um, but, and I also have a whole special section I want to mention also for online game in the Leads Machine product on seeking arrangement because a bunch of people are asking about that. So I go through my exact seeking arrangement sequences. There's a whole special flowchart for that. And I have a whole special flowchart for seeking arrangement specific objections, okay? Because these general objections apply with seeking arrangement as well, but there's also a whole set of specific objections that are only for seeking arrangement. And that's a whole separate flowchart as well. So that's another bonus thing included with this. But back to my point, a lot of you guys that are getting phone numbers you're not working them properly. You, you don't know what to text. And there's a lot of subtle nuances that go into all these things that I had to figure out over 10 years with relentless testing and optimization and evolution. And just texting whatever the fuck you want or what you watched on some RST video or, or whatever is not going to cut it. Okay. And, the, and it's the same with trying to run a night game interaction however you want. There's so many subtle nuances that go into it and so many important things. And I cover all those in extreme detail, as concise as possible. The reason why I named this Occam's razor is because I make it as simple as possible, but no simpler. And that's been my philosophy the whole way through. Same thing with the leads machine. You're getting the bare bones down and dirty. Here's the text I am using to this day. Okay. Like I just created these charts in the past couple months. Here's these texts that I'm using as of 2019. Okay. Here's the result of a guy that has 10,000 leads and a thousand closes. You're getting my exact text, my exact sequences, my exact blueprint so that you can turn a phone number into a date, okay? And when you stack up a bunch of dates in a week, that's gonna lead to closes, okay? And then that's gonna lead to sex, or that's a close, and then that's gonna lead to a rotation. Or you can just pick one of those hot, cool girls and just make her your girlfriend, done, right? Like some of you have clients that are doctors, that are entrepreneurs, they, they work around the clock, and they just want like a hot, sexy girlfriend, right? That's cool. You follow this, you'll have it, right? And you can build a rotation using this machine here. You can build a rotation within two to three weeks of probably three to five girls. I can land in a new city 
and a month later, I'll usually have between five and 10 rotation grows. It's, and all I'm doing is pumping leads in here, following all these charts. I have them in my head, but you guys will be following them. And another thing too, guys that have been beta testing these charts, they've been having to consult the flow charts explicitly to make, you know, to do their exact texting. And as they've used it and used it and used it and used it, they're starting to starting to become more automatic and they're starting to remember these things. You can also create macros on your phone. So you can type like T1, like Tinder 1, it'll be like your opener. T2, it's the next thing you see on Tinder after she replies, etc. I don't use macros, I just use autocompletes because my phone remembers. I'm just using the same fucking text over and over so it remembers. As I start to type it, it autocompletes the whole thing. But this, this is it. There's nothing more. I don't want to make this a long video. This is, I'm really excited. I'm releasing this officially January 1st. Um, there's early bird for, today's the 27th. So there's early bird for four more days. The product is $200 off. If you already purchased Occam's in the past, um, it's $300 off. Okay, so contact me at epdatingcoach at gmail.com if you've already purchased Occam's to get that discount. Otherwise, you can just purchase straight through the site. The portal is up and active, sexleadmachine.com. And if you have any questions, epdatingcoach.gmail.com. I'm really, really excited about this. Um, it's, it's really, really, really cool. I, I just made all the videos explaining all these flow charts and it's, it's just like really fucking beautiful looking at the game in this way. And this is the same as sales. You're acquiring a lead, you're scheduling it, you're closing it out. Okay. And you're doing it within that one week time frame before the lead, the lead goes cold. You're working it to the bone and you just keep putting new leads in the machine. Like right now in the current city that I'm living in, I have 16 girls on rotation and I'm still doing Tinder swiping. I'm still going out the occasional night here and there. And I still have leads I'm working with new hot chicks that can bump out pre-existing rotation girls that I don't find as hot anymore, that I'm bored of banging or their personalities become predictable, you know, or that, you know, or whatever, for whatever reason, this new chick is better and I want to switch her out for one of the ones that's in there. Or you can make it even bigger, 17 or 18 or whatever. But the cool thing is, as you continue to pump stuff into this machine, you're going to continuously have sex with new hot girls on a regular basis. And then whatever your goal is, it can become actualized. Whether that is sleeping with a lot of hot girls, having better consistency, getting your dream girlfriend, building your dream harem. Okay. This is the fucking key here. This leads management that this is the fucking key. Okay. We can all go out and do approaches if we want. Okay. And, and we have somewhat of a relative idea about what to do back to the place. I go in full detail in this video in this product, but this middle piece is where a lot of you are losing those leads. In my example earlier on the video, and then I'll, I'll wrap this video up. My example earlier on, if I had 30 leads in a week, I only need to close two. Most guys aren't closing two. I, I barely know anyone closing 100 girls a year. I come to think of it, I, I might not know anyone closing 100 girls a year. The next best guys I know after myself have been with between two and 300 girls, and that wasn't done in a two or three year time frame. That's like their whole dating career. And this isn't just about racking numbers, but the point is no one has optimized things and made them as efficient as I have to this degree. Okay. And what, what this product is doing. So those 30 leads are usually falling through the cracks. You only need to close two of them to get your hundred for the year two, Okay. And like I said, I'm closing 10%, which is most coaches won't admit this. Most coaches are going to say, oh, you can close any girl or like you should be closing most girls and like girls don't flake. I'm extremely realistic and no bullshit. Even in the product, I say flakes are going to happen. Maybe even on a daily basis, they even happen to the top guys. Okay. Girls are going to ignore on a daily basis, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What do you do when she flakes you? What do you do when she cancels on you? What do you do when she's not replying to you? These are very real things that happen on a regular basis. Okay. In my Occam's product, I talk about, you're going to get a bunch of rejections. Like even after fucking a thousand girls, I can still go to the nightclub and get rejections. That's part of the game. Okay. So that 10% close rate in that example with 30 girls on average, I would close three of those. Okay. That seems like a low figure or whatever, but do the math. Okay. Three girls in a week times 52, that's 150 in a year. Okay. That that's the kind of numbers I'm hitting, but if you're not doing all these things optimally and putting them through, you're not going to close any of those 30 girls, or you're going to get the occasional fat girl that comes once a month or every other month. And, and you're going to be just burning all your time 
swiping Tinder and patrolling the malls with day game and, and patrolling the clubs all week. And it's not going to pay off. Okay. I'm trying to give you a return on your game investment with this product. Okay. So all the time that you put into all this game stuff up here allows you to get them onto meets. Okay. Get them to get meetups. Okay. So this, this stuff is all done for you. So you're moving from the, from the leads phase to the dates phase seamlessly. Okay. In an optimized and expert manner. That's pretty much it. I'm going to update this flow chart. Uh, once my, I'm, I'm having a sales page built right now for my WhatsApp mastermind. Um, that's $97 a month. There are still open spots on that. If you want to join EP dating coach at gmail.com. Um, I have some guys in there that are getting lots of super crazy value out of it. Um, that's pretty much it. Once the sales page is ready for that, I'm going to, I'm going to add that in here. It's kind of like a little side piece. Then it's going to be called pocket Casanova. Okay. That's going to be basically having me in your pocket on a WhatsApp chat, like somewhat on demand. I'm not going to respond instantly every time, but as you have any questions, as you're doing any piece of this whole machine, okay. As you see all the different boxes and different pieces, I will be there to give you the expert answer rather than going to your local WhatsApp group full of fucking retards that are not getting laid or going to any number of shitty pickup Facebook forums where most people are not getting laid and you have a perpetual problem of the blind leading the blind. And every day I see terrible advice being given and it's being taken as, as fact and truth. Like I've seen guys as one quick example, say that you can't typically, you know, a guy was having trouble closing his first dates and someone said, First dates don't typically close. You're going to have to wait till the second. And everyone in the group's like, oh, thanks. I didn't realize that. No, those groups are fucking you up. The Facebook groups are fucking you up. The WhatsApp groups are fucking you up. Most people are terrible at this, if you haven't noticed, not just in the community, but in the world in general. I think most guys sleep with about six chicks. You can make that a bad month once you, <laughs> like literally six girls in a month is, is actually a bad month for me now, as crazy as that sounds. And it can be a bad month for you as well, rather than a lifetime number that you hit. Okay. Um, if you're following this properly, but spend less time in those shitty groups where you have people that aren't getting results, giving shitty advice, incorrect advice, incomplete advice to other people that aren't getting results. Go to the fucking source, the expert here that knows what the fuck he's talking about. And thank you guys for watching. I am going to, <laughs> that knows what he's talking about. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this was enjoyable. Sexleadmachine.com, ultimate seduction system.com. Check them out and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.